Do you want to learn how to set up Nightbot for your Twitch stream? Well, lucky for you, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this in eight minutes or less. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other streamers find this video. But obviously, if you're considering setting up Nightbot for your Twitch stream, you got to make sure you got a nice looking stream design in the first place. Otherwise, what's the point? And that's why I like using own.tv. Own.tv is the best place to get all of your overlays, alerts, panels, and everything else you could possibly want for your Twitch stream. My favorite thing about them is actually their stream design packages because you can get everything you need in one complete package. So if we just scroll over to the right here we can click on the dark mode series you can see everything that's included you got your banner you got your animated overlay everything that you want and so if you actually want to know how to set up this package you can watch the video in the top right corner where i actually show you step by step how to set up this package and import it into streamlabs or obs i'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can get started so in order to get started with nightbot we just need a twitch channel and then we'll just link nightbot to our twitch channel i'm on my alternate account which i use for all my youtube videos so if i actually type in the chat here let's just do exclamation point YouTube nothing's gonna pop up because Nightbot isn't set up with this channel which is why it's gonna be easy for me to show you guys how to do it because this account doesn't have it and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step I'll leave everything linked in the description down below so you can easily follow along at home but this is just nightbot.tv and so it's gonna prompt us to log in with our twitch channel so just click on login with twitch give it a second to pop up we authorize it access to be able to use the information that it needs and then it brings us to the dashboard right here the first thing that we need to do is click join channel in the top right corner so we'll click this little button and then now it'll say nightbot is joining your channel however we still need a mod nightbot so i'm just going to copy this and then let's go back to our twitch channel real quick once you're on your twitch channel i'm just going to paste this or you can just type out slash mod space nightbot i'm going to hit enter and then if nothing pops up you can type it again and it'll say nightbot is already a moderator of this channel just to make sure that nightbot is modded but if it doesn't pop up saying that you modded nightbot in the first place doesn't matter just make sure to do it again to get that confirmation to say that it's already a moderator of this channel and then you're good to go so let's go back over to the dashboard so once we've modded nightbot we can close out of this little window you can see that it gives us a couple different analytics about our channel right now our top command is xmage point youtube because i made previous attempts of this video before but you can see our top chatter is myself but it'll change depending on what your twitch channel is who's talking and who's using the commands that you're about to set up so if we look over to the left side of the screen you can see that we have a tab called commands this is where a lot of people are going to be spending most of their time so if we just click on default these are the default commands that nightbot comes with so as you can see there's one that says exclamation point title and if it's blue that means it's enabled if we do exclamation point title it should show the stream title and allows moderators to modify it so let's go back over to our twitch channel so if we type exclamation point title in the chat it'll give us the stream title which is cody aka halloween party is my you know alternate account it says current stream title testing new stream and we can confirm that if I scroll down here, it says testing new stream. These are all the default commands that just kind of come with it. If you don't want to have these, all you have to do is just go to this one. So let's say exclamation point commercial, we don't want it. So I'll just click on the disable button right here. And then you can see that this blue turned to a gray, which means it's now disabled. So you can go ahead and look through here. The most popular one is usually commands because that gives you a list of what commands are active on your channel. So if we actually scroll up to the top left corner here, we'll click on custom. And this is where we can make our own custom commands like exclamation point YouTube. Click this blue add command button and then we'll type the command exclamation point YouTube. And then the message is please sub to my YouTube. And then you can link the YouTube channel here. And then once you've typed out your message, you can have a user level. So this is gonna be who can use this command. I'm gonna want everyone to be able to use this command, but if you just wanted it for subscribers or moderators, you could do that. But for this case, I'm gonna do everyone. The cooldown is how quickly you can do this back to back to back. So the lowest amount is five seconds. So every five seconds, this command can be triggered. So if someone types it between two seconds for each other, it's only gonna trigger once. And then after that, once you're done with that, we'll just click submit, give it a second. Let's go back to our Twitch channel, exclamation point YouTube, and it'll show up the message that we just made. Please sub to my YouTube channel, which if you guys haven't already, you know, you should consider, you know, subbing to the YouTube channel because we make videos like this all the time to help you guys out. And you can just rinse and repeat and add as many commands as your little hearts desire. So if we look back on the left side, you can see that there's a section called giveaways. We'll click giveaways. The only thing that I like to you with this is actually having a keyword because it just makes it easier, makes sure that there's no one like lurking, not doing anything that is getting entered in these giveaways. So I'll click on the keyword entry tab right here. We'll just put in a keyword that you need to type in order to be entered. So we'll just type in enter and let me go on my alternate account, AKA my main account. And then I'll just type in the keyword in the chat room. So I'll just type in enter on my main account. And then as you can see, my name populated on the left-hand side here saying that I'm eligible for this giveaway. So if I were to click roll it and start the giveaway, 
Obviously, I would win because I'm the only one entered. So that's how the giveaway command works. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use. The next thing on the left-hand side here is logs. That's just basically people typing in messages that are picked up by Nightbot. So if they use a command or if they use a keyword for the giveaways, you can see that they're all populated on this log list. On the next part, you can see regulars. Basically, this is just gonna give people the opportunity to have more benefits within Nightbot. So if I wanted to add my main account as a regular, We'll just type in my username on Twitch. This is my name. It pops up here. I'm now a regular. So if we go back to the giveaways tab, we can just have it for the regulars. And you would just disable everybody else from being in this giveaway and just have the regulars enabled. So that's just an extra benefit of having regulars. The next tab is actually song requests and you can click on auto DJ or playlist. Honestly, I wouldn't even mess with this stuff because of all the DMCA strikes with Twitch. So I wouldn't even bother with this just because people can request songs that have copyright licenses and stuff like that. So use it your own risk. Below that, you can see we have spam protection. So this is a pretty important one like blacklisted words and phrases. You can go and click on the options tab for this to be able to edit it so you would just go in your blacklist you would type in words that you do not want people to say and so if they type any of the words in the blacklist on your twitch channel then you can set the timeout length you can do exemptions and you can do other things like the custom message that'll pop up when people are being punished for typing anything on the blacklist, which is basically words you do not want them to be saying in your stream. So you can cancel this out. After that, you can see that there's excess caps. You can have links, excess symbols. Links is a pretty common one. I'll click on options and you can just have a whitelist. So the whitelist is these are the links that will be allowed on your stream. So if you want to have YouTube.com or Twitter.com, then those will be the links that will actually get through, but all their links will get sniped and then you can set the punishment the same way you did for the blacklist so we can cancel out of that we'll go to timers this is another important one but basically it's just a command that pops up in chat automatically on a timer if that makes sense so we'll click on this blue plus add button we'll just do YouTube and then this will be the message it'll be please sub to my YouTube and then I'll put the link and then you can set the interval so let's say I want it to happen every 20 minutes then it'll be there the chat lines this is the minimum number of chat lines that have to happen before the timer is triggered so if your chat is completely dead no one watches your stream no one's talking then this is a great way to set it so it doesn't just spam your chat so I would recommend probably doing 10 20 15 lines roughly just because you don't want it to spam so quickly and that be the only thing in your chat so then we'll just hit submit. We'll see that it's active because it's enabled every 20 minutes. And then if it, there's 15 lines in between it posting last time and this time, then it'll post again. Below that, there's integrations. You can link it to your Discord. Personally, I don't use that. But if you guys want a video on bots that I recommend for your Discord channels, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll gladly make a video on my recommended bots. But that's the simple version of how to use Nightbot. Hopefully this video helped. I want to thank my patrons for helping me buy an extra cup of coffee this week. I appreciate you guys. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Spooky Gang, so I know you're a real one, and I'll see you in the next video.